Welcome to Dots Geek's secret lab. You can notice this is a different room than I normally record in. The secret lab is just uh, another random room in my home, but I've had to keep this secret because the System76 folks sent me this. I've been able to mess with it for the last few weeks. This is the newly redesigned Thelio, and we're going to talk about all of the good, the bad, and the ugly with this amazing machine, but there's so much good here to get into. I cannot wait to introduce this to you. The first thing we're going to do is talk about the unboxing experience, and then we're going to go through the whole design philosophy and show you lots of things inside and out of the Thelio. Now, if you're watching this video, you may have been someone like me who's always thought this is one of the most unique PCs out there on the market. And I have to tell you that it definitely holds true the more that I spend time with it. This is unlike anything you're gonna get out there going and buying a Dell or an Alienware or one of these other PCs and then hoping to put Linux on it and hoping Linux is gonna work because Linux is designed to work on this machine right out of the box. But if you do need to dual boot, for instance, and you need a Windows instance, you can do that with this machine too. In fact, one of the great things about this machine is its expandability, especially when it comes to storage. Some really unique things there that we're gonna get into as well. Let's start with the unboxing experience. Though. It's interesting because System76 spends so much time with their box, if you open them up, as you can see here in these videos, your first experience with the Thelio is going to be amazing. It's absolutely beautiful packaging. It's definitely shipped so that it will last with the little foam all over the corners there to make sure it's nice and protected. It's kind of floating there in the middle of the box and the box itself is absolutely gorgeous. And one of the things that you need to know about System76 is that it's created by nerds for nerds. So you're gonna see lots of nerdy little details all throughout. In fact, I don't even wanna spoil a lot of the nerdy details for you because part of the fun of getting a System76 machine is discovering those nerdy details. Whether it's things like languages being in Klingon or secret inscriptions or constellations that are carved into the cases, there are so many different things that System76 does with a variety of different products to really let you know that this is a passion project for them. This is more than just a bunch of suits sitting in an office trying to decide, hey, let's copy that other company's PC that they built because that was really successful, which we see far too much of in the PC world. So one of the coolest things about the newly redesigned Thelio is the fact that you can swap out the accent panels. So instead of having that wood go all the way across, now you have a nice strip or accent panel that you can swap out with however you're feeling. If you are like Jill on Destination Linux and you love pink or Emma for that matter at System76, well, and you're feeling a little happy, you can have your pink there. Or if you want some nice subtle blue or a lighter wood tone or the dark wood tone, all of those are options for you to easily switch in and out as you please. So no matter what you order, you can order additional accent panels and be able to swap those out and have a new looking machine that fits in with your room aesthetics or how you're feeling that day. This attention to detail and allowing you to customize things is one of the reasons why I really like what System76 is doing because they follow the open source in Linux philosophy through and through. When you think about Linux, one of the great things about Linux is your ability to customize it. Not only do you really have ownership of the software with the ability to hack that software any way you want, and I use the term hack in a positive way, not the negative way, a lot of people think of it, you can customize that software to your free will. That's one of the great things about open source software. You don't have all these license restrictions and other things holding you back. Customize your desktop, customize your file manager, customize your terminal. You can customize everything. And with the Thelio, they're bringing that to your hardware, allowing you to customize everything. And to me, nothing fits the open source philosophy better than that. I absolutely love the fact that they do have these little details here that someone like me, I'm not a graphical design person. I'm not big on aesthetics and things. I mean, I have the Leon Lee, very plain mini ITX case, and I chose to not even have the window on the side because that type of stuff isn't as important to me. But still, I found myself spending a lot of time, even with the red panel here, picking out which panel that I want, showing that customization is something that we truly all enjoy. So I think it was a really smart touch on their part. The other thing that they did is the outer case is actually much, much tighter and closer to the overall frame inside. And I think that was a really intelligent choice for them because one of the issues with 
with the prior Thaleos, and I don't know if it was a huge issue, but it had a lot of gap in between the frame and the case itself. And what that created is, of course, a dust trap and a lot of noise. This Thelio is completely silent. Now, while a lot of these components like the RAM, motherboard, and processor inside the System76 Thelio are standard components you can go buy yourself, for instance, the CPU cooler, while having a really nice custom housing, appears to use a Noctua fan. However, don't let that fool you into thinking you could do this yourself. Look at these comparison benchmarks against similar 5600Gs, and you can see that System 76's attention to detail when it comes to proper cooling, throttle management, pairing the right parts together, which is one of the most critical things often missed by novice PC builders, along with their chassis controller regulating optimal performance, means it stomps similar machines. And for that, I gotta say, way to go, System76. And you can order this with a GPU, of course, which is very important. In fact, they have some Thaleos that have incredible amounts of power with thread rippers and up to four GPUs and all kinds of crazy configurations. The, why they chose to send me one without a GPU is a little strange, but uh, I got to get my hands on the Thaleo, so I guess I'll let it pass. I will say their cooling solution is very well done, and everything is open source as well. So if you happen to have access to milling machines, 3D printers, and other stuff, you can actually go recreate this entire machine yourself. And that's another thing that I do really appreciate about System76 is that they stick that open source philosophy in everything that they do. Now, when it comes to repairability and upgradability, this machine does not disappoint. Well, until it does. So at first, when you open up this machine, again, you have very standard equipment throughout that you could easily replace. You could upgrade a new CPU. You could put new memory inside. You can upgrade the drives yourself. In fact, with their custom backplate that they have for the drives. Swapping drives in and out could not be easier and more idiot proof. And they even provide you storage for the screws to take in and out the drives, which is quite amazing. However, one thing that they didn't redesign in this new Thelio is the backplate, which when you're switching on a motherboard, the IO, the different ports and things that you have can be completely different configurations. Sometimes they'll have USB slots over here and sometimes they'll have them over there and they're all over the place. And so that's why for a long time, if you're building your own machine, they'll have those custom plates that come with the motherboard that pop into the case and allows you to do a motherboard upgrade. While you can upgrade everything else in the Stelio, including adding your own video card if you want in the future or other cards, you can't change out the motherboard because the backplate is literally part of the frame. So the only way to do it would be to take a Dremel and literally cut a rectangle out of the back of the case, ruining a lot of the aesthetics. There are a lot of ways they could actually make that not a problem. And for a company that spends so much time focused on allowing you and advertising on your ability to upgrade and not be able to waste things like this beautiful case in the future when eventually the motherboard and processor become outdated. I mean, we just had new releases from AMD. They're requiring new motherboards, but you wouldn't be able to easily stick that into this case because... They didn't make that customizable. That's something I want to see in the future version of the Thelio because everything else is so darn well done. Why cripple your own product with that one little problem there, which I think is pretty easily resolvable. What I want to praise System76 for is the fact that they took a lot of risks with the aesthetics of this machine. Not only the first, but this redesign as well. In the fact that they didn't go with the cookie cutter look of a standard PC. One of the biggest complaints on Hardware Addicts podcast that I'm a part of that I bring to the community is the fact that PC is very, very boring. PC tends to copycat everything, especially in the laptop lines that Mac does, except they do it later and they do it far worse. And when Mac, of course, released the unibody aluminum frame and made it very popular, I don't know if they were the first one, but they were one of the first ones to do it right. Then all of them came out with it. It's just weird how PC manufacturers are and how far behind they are. And I think a lot of it is because it's a bunch of suits running 
running it and not a bunch of nerds making things for nerds. And that's where System76 comes in because even though they're a smaller company, if you compared them to something like a Dell or Lenovo, they took some big risks here, which is what you want to see. They took some big risks with the overall look and design of this. They didn't go for something that looks like a Leon Lee case. They didn't go for something that looks like a latest Dell out there, or Alienware. They did something that was very classy, but still unique. So they didn't do these harsh angles and other things that would make it embarrassing if you were a business to have this sitting on a shelf. But they also didn't make it so muted and boring that you would be embarrassed to show it to your friends as a gaming PC. To me, this is one of the best looking desktops, period, on the market. And for the case alone, is worth getting invested into a Thaleo, especially if you're not interested in building your own machine. Now, a lot of people in the Linux and open source community can build their own machines. I've built my own machines since I was like 10 years old. This was my father's business was building machines and computers, so I love doing it. But there are times in my life, especially like when my kids were born, where I didn't feel like building a machine, nor did I have time. So having an option like this, where I don't have to worry about, is Linux gonna work on the components that I buy, researching to make sure sure the RAM is compatible and the motherboard's compatible and I've got the right cooling and airflow configuration done. System 76 is taking care of all of that for you. So you just add it to the cart and hit buy, wait for it to show up, plug it in and get started. And that's very cool. And that's one of the things that makes System 76 Thelio such an attractive option. And even though I am a PC builder and I've always built my own machines, this is one I actually want in my collection because of its unique case design. But again, because they didn't give me a dedicated GPU, it's hard for me to really tell you would it remain as silent as it is now with an actual dedicated GPU inside of it. Is the case audio inside the case going to be very, very uh, pronounced once you have a GPU running at full speed inside there with what they have without a GPU, it is completely near silent. The other design choice that I would love for them to change is adding ports into the front. Now, I've used up every single port on the back of this Thaleo here, and a lot of that's because I have camera equipment and capture cards and microphones and mixers and other things, and mouse and keyboard and all of this stuff going into the back. But a lot of times I need to plug things into the front of my machine. And my Leon Lee, I use it for my YubiKey, for instance, so that I can authenticate very easily from the front. But other times it's to quickly be able to plug in other peripherals like game controllers and things directly into the front because I don't use them all the time but I don't have easy access into the back of my machine either. Now this machine is extraordinarily light. Like when I first picked it up out of the box, I was surprised there was even a computer inside it's so light, which is amazing in the engineering side that they were able to create something so light, but look so good. At the same time, I have a desk that is sit and stand desk and it moves up and down, but it's up against the corner. It's very hard with all the wires and everything else I have in my studio for me to access the back. So I feel like another design choice I would love to see improved on a Thaley in the future is to nice and aesthetically, you know, System 76 style, put some cool way to have some ports, additional ports right up there in the front, including maybe a microphone and headphone jack, because I think that would make it even better. The other thing that I would love to see with the System 76 is to have a more premium premium experience with Pop! OS. What I was surprised about is it's a very standard Pop! OS wallpaper. It's your standard Pop! OS install. And there is nothing kind of special when you're buying a system from System76 that you get. Now, it's great that they have the open source philosophy and whether you have a System76 or not, you can go and use Pop! OS and utilize all the cool wallpapers and download them. But I feel like there should be something special for somebody who actually goes and buys a PC from System76. It could be a wallpaper and it could still get out into the wild, but it could be something different for each model out there to kind of give you that feeling that you know you're you're one with the company now create that fandom like apple does so well with their customers out there so i would think a custom wallpaper would be good also it's a very plain installation experience so once it's installed there's nothing if you're a new user to linux kind of telling you to open up the software store and what to install i feel like it would be great to have a curated list of software from those awesome nerds at system 76 to say hey if you want to do some art and 3d graphics 
graphic and design, check out Blender. If you want to do some extra gaming, check out Lutris. Let's get Steam installed for you. Maybe a nice quick pop-up GUI. In fact, you could make the GUI off of the software that I have out there that's open source on my GitHub page. That could be the back end and you just throw a GUI on top of that. And again, it doesn't force them to install it, but I think people who are really getting into Linux for the first time, and there's a lot of them coming in there, don't necessarily know what software to put on the machine or know that the software store is the primary place to get their software because they're coming from Windows where your primary place of getting software is going to a website and downloading an EXE file. So I think it would be interesting for them to offer a more curated experience, especially on their custom hardware there to give you that kind of premium feel and give you another reason of why you want to buy their hardware maybe instead of build your own. So my final conclusion is this, you will not be disappointed if you were to spend the money and pick up one of these Thaleos. It's a very well designed machine with things like the airflow and all the components working together is already figured out for you. You don't have to worry about putting too much thermal paste when you're building your own machine or misconfiguring your fans so that it's not pulling in enough air or pushing out enough air because they've already figured all of that out for you. So if you're in that boat and looking to have something just Put on your desk when you get it and start playing with Linux. This is the machine to get, albeit with a dedicated GPU or plan to put one in there near immediately, but this is definitely the machine to get. I think they've done an amazing job. You can tell this is a passion project for them. They are a very passionate bunch of nerds that create things for nerds for the open source community. And you see that through and through in everything they touch. And I love their faces for it. So thank you System76 for sending this to me. Now I have to pack it up and send it back to them. I might shed a little geek tear for that, but I really appreciate them giving me the opportunity to check this thing out. I love the accent panels. I love all the attention to detail that they do. And that's my video review for this. It's not a take my money 10 out of a 10, but if you need this, it's a great buy. Seven out of 10, I think that's fair. If they fix a couple of things we talked about, easy 10 out of 10. So this is future me after having edited this video all the way to this point. And I just wanted to let you know my experience in editing videos with this machine. It was near silent, which was really nice for my concentration. And I was able to add a lot of overlays and videos on top of videos and pictures and audio files and all of these things. And there were a couple points where it would have some slight stutter, but for the most part was able to keep up and didn't actually become a detriment to my editing because if things are super slow or it's not playing back in a normal frames per second, then that can really mess you up with editing. And I think it handled it really well. I also want to give a shout out to our sponsor, DigitalOcean. Without DigitalOcean, I couldn't do all of these awesome things that we do. So go to do.co slash tux2022, get a hundred dollar free credit to check out all of their amazing cloud services. In fact, if you get a System76 machine, you're going to want to get more educated in Linux. And what's the thing that's blowing up everywhere? The cloud, the cloud, the cloud. Well, DigitalOcean is a fantastic training ground for the cloud because it comes with thousands of cloud agnostic tutorials to get you started there. So go to do.co slash tux2022. I also want to thank all of you because without you, there's no way they would have taken a chance of sending me this really awesome piece of equipment. I do have to send it back, but I got to play with it thanks to people like you hitting that subscribe button and that like button. We are at 19,000 subscribers, which is amazing for this channel that we finally crossed that threshold. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Go check out what System76 has to offer. I really love this company. I'm a geek. They're nerds. We still get along. I love it. So check them out. Go to System76. Look at all their new offerings there. They even have some really cool new things they're doing with their keyboards and stuff. And until next time, get out there and fill your brains.